Oh, look at you! Your own little delivery person! How adorable! Who sent you? Wait a minute, I know order a package. Who sent you, little guy? Come on, get closer, you son of a bitch! For those that have seen the movie, I guess you could consider that little intro skit an actual spoiler for the movie. While those who haven't seen the movie are probably like, what on earth did I just see? We are now officially in Spooky Mun territory, so to continue on this horror-esque movie marathon, we're going with this real bizarre man vs. nature movie. Don't be surprised that I'm going through an A24 movie at least once for the spooky season. I mean, come on. How can I not? So from the almighty A24 comes once again some weirdo shit that I'm always excited to go see. The advertisement for this movie I remember a few years ago was very vague and left a lot more questions and answers for you, which I think is great. I think that's what all trailers should aim to be, especially ones with very bizarre concepts like this one. It just seemed to be about a couple in the middle of the wilderness, or I guess a mountainous region, that take care of a lamb slash human hybrid child. Well, I'm glad to say that that's basically what the movie is about, but there really are some surprise twists and themes thrown in there towards the end that I wasn't expecting. And it already makes this manic concept of a movie that much more memorable and have just a lot more depth than you would think. And this is actually a foreign movie, which is pretty cool because I can't recall if there have been many international movies distributed from A24, but I definitely hope we get a lot more. The entire movie is spoken in Icelandic. And it's really refreshing to the ears because I don't really hear that language, nor do I expect most of you to have heard that language before in any movie. The representation of foreign filmmakers is something I feel we need a lot more here in the States. So let's go into this movie. It definitely is very weird and very unorthodox but at this point what do you expect from a24 that's why i love him so much but brace yourselves if you're planning to watch this one because it definitely has some bizarre to borderline disturbing imagery in it for sure such that i don't even think i'll be able to find the clips on youtube nor even show them here on youtube safely screw it let's get on into this weird piece lamb a couple raising a farm in the mountainous wilderness are gifted a mysterious child that is half human, half lamb. Upon choosing to raise a the child, they start to discover some very disturbing answers. Also, spoiler alert, because I think it's definitely worth delving into the ending of this movie for sure. So from the first act, the movie takes its sweet time in establishing the birth of this child, they call her Ada, which actually translates to the word nobility in the Icelandic language, so that's pretty clever on their part. But they are currently having trouble gaining a child, and because of that, it seems to be having a strain on their marriage. And it just reminds me a lot of horror movie families where we have a couple or I guess a whole family where they are desiring to have something whether it be a child or a home and they are granted their wish but obviously it's not going to be as it seems and they're soon going to be regretting their wish. So that's really the element that I think is the closest to classic horror movie formulas. Everything after the birth of Ada is when things really derail into something new. The film first falters with the pacing of the first act. It does drag for a bit and it's pretty clear that since the budget was lower they had to definitely pamper out some of the runtime to make sure it was a theatrical release length. So obviously when it comes to showing how they live their farm life, we have long takes of them doing their daily chore routines, and it could definitely make someone with ADHD quite antsy once they're ready to move on to the next scene. But it's definitely something reminiscent in all other indie movies, so I'm not going to bash this movie too hard on it. Tip for all the pretentious filmmakers out there, just have the talent doing menial chores in their household and you can call it cinema. At a certain point, it's just like, okay, I get it. They live a very simple life. There's nothing wrong with living a simple life, but you can tell that they're definitely pushing the agenda of how boring and how formulaic their life has become. Can we please move on? Okay, my ADHD rant is over. Once Ada enters the picture, that is when the dynamic between the wife and the husband gets a lot more interesting. Because at first the husband reacts how any person I feel, any fatherly figure or any husband would react when gifted an unexpected child like this. He's distraught and he acknowledges the bizarre nature of it all. Having him break down after seeing his wife happy with a half lamb, half human child actually does leave a lot for the audience to piece together themselves instead of blatantly telling us what the husband is feeling. It wants us, the viewers, to piece together what the husband would be thinking, and how he probably feels like he failed as a husband and as a man to provide a child for his wife the natural way. It's nice to have story elements to piece together ourselves instead of having the characters blatantly shout out what they are feeling like some sort of cartoon character. But once hubby and wife start to really warm up to the idea of raising this child together, and they double down and commit to raising Ada as their own child, the sheep around their farm start acting strange, particularly around Ada. They are drawn to Ada, which definitely gave some real creepy sequences. So once the hubby and wife start segregating Ada from the other sheep and start treating her as if she is fully human, that is when the film's theme on man versus wild really starts to set in. But then we're thrown a curveball when the husband's brother stops by to visit and starts to really question the idea of his brother and his sister-in-law raising a child like this. And the whole sequence of him thinking this is so bizarre and so out of the ordinary to the point of contemplating shooting Ada to have his brother and his sister-in-law return 
return back to a simple farm life, again, is a very big ultimate play on the main theme of man versus wild. Which species really is the more animalistic? Is it humans or is it livestock? The more we're speaking about it, actually, the more this feels like an advocation for vegans. So yeah, this is definitely a horror movie. It's just so weird. It's so different. But the story of a family raising an unorthodox or gifted child that have a rocky beginning but actually grow into a loving family in the end is very relatable and I'm sure that's actually going to speak out to a lot of family members out there. Another aspect that I wasn't too huge on in terms of story was that in the middle we were shown some sort of a, not even a love triangle but just some sort of a awkward wrench with the brother wanting to get with his brother's wife. It was just odd and I could tell it was probably them just looking to just fill out the runtime some more and give these human characters characters maybe a little bit more something to deal with besides raising and worrying about Ada, but I just really didn't care for it too too much. I was more so concerned about Ada. So after the resolution of the wife sending the brother away after their awkward encounterments, the film's ending is definitely a jaw dropper for sure as it really unleashes the man versus wild theme to exponential heights where Ada's actual biological father who is a hybrid of man and sheep or man and goat. He looked kind of like a goat man, sheep man, lamb man, I don't know. Hunting and killing the husband with a rifle to then take Ada back into the wild. It just begs the question of whether or not the husband and wife should have taken Ada in in the first place to raise as her own child. It was just such a batshit crazy of an ending, but one that just felt right at home with A24 horror. Bizarre, crazy, and unique. And this movie definitely has made me about 25 to 27% more fearful of sheep and what they are thinking. 7 out of 10, unique concept and twist to the man versus wild theme, bogged down by the occasional pacing bump. And for those getting your laughs on how I look like a furry right now, I got a place where you can put that message. Right in there. <laughs>